All right, let's take a look at comparing and contrasting ionic and covalent bonds. The first thing I want to know is what are both of these things? So what is happening? What's causing these things to interact? Well, an ionic bond will have a cation, which is a metal, and an anion, a nonmetal. that are going to take slash give electrons. So in ionic bonds, you have electrons being taken or given. The anions take in electrons, that way th that's why they're negative, and the cations give up an electron to become positive. So in ionic bond, you're taking and giving electrons. Over here in covalent, they're going to share their electrons. And they share because they both have high electronegativities which means that they don't want to give up electrons. So as opposed to the ionic bond where you have one that's willing to give up an electron, that's the cation, over here in covalent, they both have high electronegativity, so they want to take on electrons, not give them up. Because of that, they'll end up sharing. Who is the next thing I want to talk about? Over here in ionic, I've said that we have a metal and a non-metal. And over here in covalent, we have a non-metal and a non-metal. So anything to the right on the periodic table. Okay. An example of both would be over here in ACL. So I have my metal and sodium and my nonmetal here with chlorine. And this is sodium chloride. So please notice that there are no prefixes when I'm naming over here with ionic bonds. There are, however, prefixes over here with covalent. So if I have good old H2O, I would say that is dihydrogen monoxide. So I do have to use my prefixes when I'm working with covalent mo uh, molecules, okay? The same is the octet rule. So both of them bind, or both of them form um, compounds in order to fill up their subshell, and we call that um, the octet rule. Usually it means eight electrons in the valence shell. So both of these are driven by the idea that their um, involved molecules could have a full valence shell. Okay, so this is ionic versus covalent. Remember, ionic is a metal and a nonmetal. Electrons are taken and given. Covalent are two nonmetals, and electrons are shared. Okay?